Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Aquarius this is your reading for sip September 2020. Your first card for the first week is Romantic Feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, do listen to your intuition and your feelings. These are the extra cards. That's TLC, TLC for the soul, then Answers of the Angels and the Truth Mirror. That's the Lenamon. And we've this one is a new deck, and that is Tarot of the Kingdoms. Tarot of the Kingdoms, they're really, really pretty and beautiful. There you go, that is what it looks like. Have a look at the review because I've done reviews on the TLC for the Soul and the, the Truth Mirror and the Tarot of the Kingdoms. They're really, really beautiful. The art is absolutely amazing. Well, rom um, romantic feelings. I think you will be listening to your feelings and your intuition. You've got the Three of Cups. Look at that. It's beautiful. And these are totally different cards. They're more fantasy and arty. And I think you will enjoy them. So Three of Cups means, means that you will be celebrating something because you have listened to your feelings about romance. That is in the first week. In the second week is let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. If you are listening to your feelings, don't push it. Don't push it because it means that this could be a new romance. Um, or that you have shut everybody off for a while, your partner, um, and now you have the urge to love and hug and cuddle and canoodle. So, open to that, but you must let, don't force anybody into something, okay? So, let go of those control issues. And, you know, if your partner is working, and especially with the COVID now, um, you want to do a cel um, <coughs> celebration, or do a romantic di uh, dinner and drink wine and celebrate that you are together because after all the Three of Cups is celebrating then if they come home or they can't make it for one uh, for half an hour later or something then don't be angry okay don't try to control things let it happen naturally then it's also much nicer much more balanced you're giving each other uh, what do you may call it? Respect and room to move freely within the relationship. And talking about balance, you have temperance, and temperance is also a Sagittarius. Don't, you might try to keep the balance in the relationship. Try to keep balance <coughs> uh, 
um, within uh, the home. Perhaps you might have children. You could be hooked up. You don't have to be hooked up. But if you're hooked up and you want to celebrate and you just want to have that lovely quality time, loving time, then put the kids with granddad and grandma and have that beautiful romantic dinner at home because I know you can't go out to a restaurant because everything is either locked down or it is so structured that the romant, uh, romantic side or sphere is not even there anymore. So t perhaps try to order dinner from a restaurant and have that dinner at home. It just feels like going out but in a much safer and nicer uh, canoodly place <coughs> than in a restaurant with everybody around sitting apart from each other uh, one or two meters so just try to keep the balance and do it at home but don't control the issues okay don't get freaked out if it doesn't go your way as well as it should okay so don't worry then you have this could be the one if you are jo if you have just met and you can't go out because of the COVID then do invite them for a picnic or um, invite them to your house and have dinner there this is how you grow closer together and you can be able to communicate with each other as this could be the one and if you are hooked up then this is the one you've already met this romantic partner you seek well if you are hooked up in one way I'm not saying you're married but you do go out steadily with with somebody yes of course you have seen them before otherwise you wouldn't be making a specific dinner and letting go you wouldn't have the, f the, um, the feeling that you can trust them so let that you can let go let yourself go let your inner child come out balance that okay balance your shadow side you've got the white bird there and the brown bird there and you've got the black bird there so try to balance your emotions try to balance your mind and your exterior that's the three elements okay okay this could be the one you've already met each other Room, uh, each other before the pa the partner you seek okay so there could be somebody coming back from the past if you've been separated because of job wise somebody might be in the marines or the army so yes I think they will be back let's have a look what the next card is and you've got the moon and this is like a lotus exploding in a crystal with a crystal ball I think it's so beautiful obviously obviously it's depicted that this is the moon and that is water because the moon is or represents Pisces and that is a water sign and in this card we've got two pathways the shadow side and the light side and I was talking about the shadow sides the three elements now what was the it was air water and earth those were the three elements in the pagan uh, decks that I have um, for some reason rather they haven't got the fire but it is earth that is steadiness water is emotions and like the heart and love and then you've got the air wisdom so and the uh, earth is practical is doing things okay now I'm just taking the traditional um, meanings of the tarot and whatever I see in the card itself because these are so ex detailed and explicit and they're so dreamy that even the negative cards or people call the negative cards like the tower and the three of swords are beautiful they're not scary they're not negative at all it just shows you you have to look from it from a different perspective now we've got the moon so I think this could be the one definitely I think the emotions are going to explode do you understand what I'm seeing these are all flowers and that's the center of the lotus 
a flower. So all the petals will be turning into flowers. You might be getting flowers, who knows? You might be joining each other, joining at the hip because of the two. That's partnerships. There are things you don't know. There might be a surprise. All of a sudden something might be um, said or done. You might all of a sudden get proposed to. You don't know. That is what the moon means. The moon means that you might not know something. That's the s dark side of the moon. Perhaps the dark side is that they don't know that you can be dominating, let go of issues, that you can't find yourself in balance because when, once you feel that you've let go, that you are unbalanced. Listen to your emotions. That is how you can stay balanced. Listen to that gut feeling and any new ideas that come in because there's so much more coming towards you. It's things that you don't know. Positive and negative, but more positive by the cards I have here. The romantic feelings. You have been awakened. Boom! You might not have known love before like this. And it is explosive. And you're celebrating. But you're finding it hard to f get f get the balance within yourself or the relationship because when you are out of balance you might feel that that brings the relationship out of balance don't worry let go let it flow that's what I'm just hearing let go let it flow look at that water so it could be with a Sagittarius and could be with a Pisces as the moon represents Pisces do more, some more research if you can and that's how you will find out you by talking to each other okay that is how you find things out as well if this is a new love and if if you are already hooked up then and things aren't going as well then do that beautiful dinner that I um, told you about or picnic bring out the um, romantic feelings bring out the emotions talk get the communication going show your partner that you care about them and that you're worried about them let them open up perhaps they might use you as a like a mediator or a best friend and they will explode that is what this card could mean okay and the next card is your love yourself first yes of course you must get yourself back in balance you must be in balance it's like the saying love yourself first then you can love another take care of yourself first then you can take care of the rest your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive if you look good or if you feel good you look good make yourself look good then you will feel good the world is yours literally and figuratively you have the world. The world means that something is coming to an end. Perhaps um, what is coming to the end is that you've got to know each other much better that evening or that afternoon that you had the picnic or dinner or lunch and you're back in balance. So the insecurity is coming to an end. Uh, perhaps like I said you might find out something that you didn't know, like a proposal, Let, let's get engaged or move in, let's move in together, let's buy a house, that could come out of the conversation. Perhaps that has been building up inside your partner's head ideas of wanting to be together. So because the world also means going up a step in life. This could be in your general life or in your love life in this case. So you might be getting married and it is really beautiful colors in this deck. It, the world here is really bright. Uh, bright. Uh, or you could be going on holiday together. You could be moving in together as it also means moving home. You might um, hear that uh, you are getting a promotion so that you can find the balance um, and move in together or move to a bigger home. Definitely the world card 
is also a karma card. If you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. And if you've done bad, it's the same thing. If somebody's done it to you, they will get it back as well. Because everything goes around. Like if you're here, something comes back to the same point where it started. Okay? But every time it will be different. Nothing is ever the same. Okay. The overall energy is the five of earth. The five of earth. That means that you might feel out of sorts. You might feel left out. Um, or even if you're hooked up or not. Well, by the looks of this, you won't feel out of sorts on Monday or the rest of the week. So long you listen to your gut feeling and your emotions and you do your research. There will be an ending to a phase in your life or in your romance life and you might be going and you definitely will be going up to a next phase. The moon is 18 so 8 and 1 is 9 also confirming an ending okay <coughs> and a new beginning where there is an ending there's a new beginning you've got the peaceful soul yes you will have found the balance at the end of the week like I said you might be going on holiday that's why you've got the beach card so that you can relax and take time out your soul is a refuge of peace if something is not in alignment with who you are ask yourself am I willing to accept that is being presented to me if that is not the case ask am I prepared to change what needs changing sometimes what shows up is not what you is not yours to heal it is often better to send up a prayer for help to your divine friends always remember that gratitude for what you already have serves as an ultimate tonic for soothing your fearful heart so always be grateful and listen to new ideas and sometimes um, you c you like it says you can't help others sometimes perhaps you feel out of sorts because um, you are too different you've outgrown a group of people go out there and mingle and get to know more people communicate clearly like the angels say and if you are feeling out of sorts with your own family your father or your mother your brother or your sister talk this is not only in a relationship but also with your own family okay and the same with your partner if you feel out of balance or you feel left out tell your partner but also show your partner by making quality time for you and your partner I think they've been busy working or you have been busy working and being quite ambitious that's the feeling that I'm getting now I've got the lily the lily means good luck good luck in business and good luck at work like I said there might be promotions and you didn't see that coming because you've had been head down on work that is what I saw with this card here that's the feeling but I didn't say anything and now it's getting confirmed by the lily you've been ambitious that the lily doesn't mean ambitious the lily means that you might seek advice from a third party this could be a professional or this could be a father figure or a mature man that you respect on perhaps how to take things um, easier or gentler um, perhaps they will say take time out and you can't help such and such a person you have to help yourself first that is what initially this card means peaceful soul sometimes what shows up is not yours to heal do you understand so sometimes you can't help somebody else but you have to help yourself first and just 
always show gratitude and ask the angels to be with you and to heal somebody else. Communicate clearly what you wish um, anybody to do uh, or to know so that you don't have that feeling being left out and also communicate clearly with the angels so they can help you and the divine like if it's improving your business so that you don't have to work so many hours just to ease and slack off I do it with my YouTube channel okay uh, when I see YouTube channel you might think I'm nuts but I do talk to my angels and they do stabilize uh, things in the back office even though YouTube has their own system I know that uh, angels can't twig twig the computers or turn knobs but they can send out positive energy and <coughs> they can give the positive energy and the calm and gentle energy to the people that operate the system it always flows through from one person to the next from even in machines even in retrograde I've I've noticed this now you also have luck and um, in business or in work <coughs> excuse me so I hope you have enjoyed this reading Aquarius so remember listen to your new ideas listen to your intuition your gut feelings you might be uh, feeling sensitive around the 18th because that's when Virgo goes in uh, Virgo moon goes into uh, Virgo um, and um, the Virgo sign I checked it out have a look at the video Virgo energy it is very interesting um, as it's a totally different energy than Leo um, you will might f even feel more uh, calmer not so motivated in the negative sense but you might even be like manana manana you'll take it slower and this is also what I'm seeing in this reading because of the hangmat and that you feel out of sorts you might just feel left out because you're not you you feel that you're too busy working so don't focus everything on work think about your family and friends otherwise you will feel left out you have to make time for others friendships and relationships also take work okay now um, Virgo is quite practical and don't be too much of a perfectionist for yourself or for others just take life and everything as it comes okay go with the flow like I said go with the flow okay I think that is your message for this month I hope you've liked it please give me the thumbs up and um, share with family and friends I do love you all take care Virgie bye bye